everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. I hope you enjoyed the first G.I. Joe toy review of the year, The Rolling Thunder. I have to admit, I have been sick for almost two weeks. And because of that, I have not been able to uh, keep up with my emails and reply to comments or any of that stuff. And I feel kind of bad about that. I feel like I owe you something. So how about we do a short, quick shot video every day this week, just because we can. And let's start with the 1985 Hostile Environment Trooper, codename Airtight. I'm doing a quick shot of this figure because a guy named Phil, who works at the courthouse where a lot of my cases are heard, mentioned that this was his favorite figure when he was a kid. So let's go ahead and take a look at Airtight. And this one's for Phil. Airtight, as the Hostile Environment Trooper, is wearing a hazmat suit, bright yellow, but offset with some green and black. That looks not too bad. Of course, I'm not usually a fan of bright colors, but for his specialty, this does kind of make sense. He comes with a number of unique accessories, including his toxic chemical sniffer, which I guess could be used as a gun. It kind of looks like a gun. It has what looks like kind of a vacuum nozzle here on the front, and that is connected by a black hose to his backpack. Uh, backpack also is very unique. Um, on his backpack here up at the top, uh, it has a hose that connects to his helmet. That's a single hose that goes from his helmet and through this loop on the backpack and then connects to the other side of his helmet. Um, that does hinder his head movement a little bit, but not as much as you would expect. That hose is kind of flexible, although it does pop out every once in a while. As a kid, I didn't have a lot of use for a hostile environment trooper, so I didn't use Airtight very much. But Phil mentioned that he used this figure as a pilot, and that makes a lot of sense. His helmet does look a lot like a pilot's helmet. Taking a look at his uniform, you could easily imagine this as pilot's flight gear. Airtight's file card depicts him as a practical joker. Airtight didn't get a lot of use in the cartoon or comic book series. He did appear a few times, but not very many. And again, I didn't use the figure very much as a kid. There was a missed opportunity with Airtight when they introduced the Eco Warriors. His specialty would have fit in perfectly with that sub-team, but they did not issue a new version of Airtight for that team. That's just a quick look at Airtight. He will eventually get a full review, but I hope you enjoyed this quick look at him for now. I'll have more quick shots for you this week. Thank you very much for watching. I'm glad to be back. We'll see you next time for another vintage G.I. Joe toy review.